can be only one reason why you are watching this video now and that is you want some tips for new teachers and I'm sure most of you are likely to be gearing up for your new big teaching job and you don't want to screw up anything at all. Rather, you want to impress your school principal and other staff members. You want the instant respect of your children and you want to make friends with your peers. Am I right? So don't worry friends, everything will go exactly as you have planned. What you need to do is to watch this video till the end because right now I'm going to give you some tips for new teachers which will help you not only to prevent you from any mishap in the teaching profession but also it will help you to improve your efficiency and make you work smarter as a teacher. So without any further delay let me give you some tips and let's get started. First of all, you need to find a suitable education degree program for yourself which will help you to obtain the desired teaching career outcome. That is, first you need to obtain a postgraduate or a graduate degree and then you need to possess a training degree like Bachelor of Education, Teachers Training Course, ECCA, Montessori Teachers Training, Nursery Teachers Training and so on as per your subject of interest. And then number two you need to be positive and flexible as a teacher when i say being positive it means that your approach towards the children should be very positive because remember that you are an inspiration to large number of students and only if your approach is positive towards them only then they are going to recognize their strengths and weaknesses they're going to focus on their strengths and improve their weaknesses. And when I say that as a teacher you should be flexible, I mean to say that you should be flexible enough to handle students from various types of socio-economic backgrounds. Remember that all children are not equal. Some are fast learners whereas some are slow learners. Some learn best through auditory manner whereas some learn through visual media and also some have learning disabilities as well. So as a teacher you should be flexible enough to cater to the individual needs and respond to their differences. Number three, you need to plan your lesson. Yes, I believe that planning and preparation is the most important principle of a good teaching. As a teacher, I feel that if you fail to plan then you plan to fail okay so keep that in mind and always be prepared plan your lessons ahead before you enter the classroom you should be armed full of energy and excitement when you enter the classroom in order to impart your lesson you should be planning your lessons so effectively that maximum learning should take place within one class period okay you should be able to maximize every minute of your class period and for that teaching method is very important number four your teaching method should be child centric child centric means that it should be catering to the interest of the children the entire teaching learning process should be fun interesting and exciting for the children because only then they're going to enjoy learning with you also your teaching method should be holistic and individualized holistic means that not only you should be sharing knowledge with the children but also you should be eliciting knowledge from them for example when you're teaching mathematics you should not only be teaching them the formulas and the methods to solve the sums but also you should be teaching them the value of understanding numbers and the great things that maths can be used for for example to think logically okay also classroom management is very important Remember that classroom should be like a home to every student. Children should feel valued, safe and comfortable in the classroom. They should respect you and respect each other around. As a teacher, you should respect their differences in opinion and value those differences. Also, 
it is very important that you as a teacher should understand the expectations of your children and should make them aware of your expectations as well on the very first day only then both the teacher and the students will move towards the same goal i believe that if the classroom management if the classroom is well managed and if the teaching is effective then children are definitely going to learn grow and become responsible citizens and last but not the least your contribution to this organization as soon as you get a job you should leave no stone unturned to give your best shot in the job and you should be an active part of the team of teachers you should help to build up the morale and the working environment of the school as a whole remember the feeling of not being alone but being a part of the team of teachers is what you can bring to the organization as a whole is that you should be sharing your classroom experiences whether good or bad with your peers in the free time in the staff room i believe that this is one of the best tool for a teacher to improve his teaching profession why because this will give you an opportunity to share your best skills with them and in return you will be able to learn the best skills of theirs this is how will improve your your teaching style and will help you to handle even difficult situations in your classroom in future so this is it friends i hope you have liked my tips which will help you to shine as a new teacher in your first teaching job if yes then let me know by giving me a thumbs up so that i am encouraged to upload more videos like this and if you want to ask any question related to the profession of teaching do write in the comment section given below and share this video with your friends as much as possible and subscribe to my channel so that i can upload more videos like this and you get to see them till then bye bye